morning, Ebenezer family. Today our promise comes from Psalm chapter 5, verse 3. Yahweh, in the morning you shall hear my voice. In the morning I will lay my request before you and will watch expectantly. Are you a morning person? Do you enjoy the quiet of the early morning to just think or to maybe connect with God? I'm a natural morning person. I've always been that way, even as a kid. But just because I'm wired this way, it doesn't mean that I was naturally someone that connected with God in the morning. I wish those two things always came together. But with that said, in the last several years of my life, it's probably five plus years now, my mornings have been a very rich time to pray, listen to the Holy Spirit, and reflect with God in His Word. It's become a time for me to relate with God in an unhurried and uninterrupted way. It's been a time that I look forward to with expectance because I've had God meet me in those moments with answers to prayers, specific direction on what and how to pray for others, or with revelation or understanding about my own life circumstances. Some of those mornings have been filled with direction and or correction, but it's always been good for the overall condition of my life and my soul. And it's good for us to remember that God is with us when we are awake and he is with us when we sleep. And that the Lord is listening to our prayers when we call out to him the moment we awake. He is right there, ready to hear our prayers the moment we wake up. It amazes me when I think of how attentive our Heavenly Father is to our needs. So when you first open your eyes tomorrow morning, think of this promise. God is waiting to hear from you. His heart is longing for us to commune with him in the morning, noon, and night. He is always watching over us, and he is listening for our voice when we rise in the morning. He created us, and he wants to hear from us because it blesses his heart in only the way that you his heart.